as you watch this game, Notre Dame's blocking is going to have to improve against that front. Now here comes Grant down at the five-yard line. But folks, there was one thing that stood out in the first half. Wolverines show pressure, and here they come. They blitz the run that time, and it'll be third and long for this Notre Dame offense. And, uh, Carl Diggs making the stop. The big change, third down. Roll end zone. Gets rid of it as he's being hit in the end zone. That was Larry Stevens, the junior from Tacoma, Washington. Steve Bruston, the young sensation. Set up touchdown number one. Ready to set sail again. Standing on the right hash. Settle, try to punt it away from him. And as a result, it's a very bad punt. Out of bounds because he did not want to put it in Preston's hands. But still, Michigan. Dudley is the lead fullback now for Perry. Perry will follow him. Sidestep. Daylight comes through. Maintains his balance. Still coming. Explodes inside the 10-yard line. And he begins to jump up the Heisman Trophy charts as he plays his biggest game of the year. Be shocking to Notre Dame fans. This is a defense that had eight starters returning. This is a defense that only allowed 2.8 yards per carry last year, and Michigan is doing whatever they want. Whether they want to throw it or run it, Michigan is taken right to this Notre Dame defense. His first three games in the season. Number 23, Perry on a stretch. Slash going in, so look at third touchdown. Got it. Three touchdowns for number 23. Remarkable story he is, ladies and gentlemen. He was in Lloyd Carr's doghouse, so deeply inside it that a couple of years ago, Carr called him in and said, "Young man, you should transfer. We are just not on the same wavelength." But it was so play right here, Brandon. This offensive line, you pull the guard around, make the play, straight arm. You see it, Chris Perry, fast. Picked back up on the story, the remarkable story of Chris Perry. Why did he stay after Lloyd Carr told him point blank, you should transfer? But he didn't, and now he's the star of this Wolverine team. Timeout. Losing that arm up on the sideline, so maybe we are going to see the future. Navarre setting the screen. Perry leaps over a defender it out to the 33-yard line. He is becoming an electrifying runner here in Ann Arbor. That's 13 more yards. That's what he's working on here today. Already scored the three touchdowns for the Wolverines. This time to the 40-yard line. Uh, That's what you got to have when you move on the hardware here. To the 41-yard line. I tell you, you know, I, I came to this game. at left guard. Pearson's your center. Lentz the right guard. Tony Pape, number 77, is the right tackle. They have kept that front clean. Here they are again, giving Navarre time. Anthony Avant, first down in Irish territory. Jason Avant. Let me correct myself on that. Play fake Navarre. Got a rush behind him. Got to take off. That's about as well as I've seen Navarre move. He felt the pressure. He took off Gary. I think you can attribute it to that weight you talked about that he'd taken off. They'll bring Bab down through it. Now they set Navarre. Looking left, though. Going to come all the way, and Bab's got the first down on the juggle. So Carl Tab picks up the first down, and uh, John, what's going beat on? Georgia. <laughs> Lose, I'm always saying he can't beat anybody. Here's Underwood to the 27. And, and uh, great backup here for Perry and Underwood, Jack. Oh, one yeah. Next week, they'll set sail at the Big Ten and hope that they wind up in New Orleans. And this is a team with a chance. Underwood puts it on the ground. But 
Michigan has got it. Edwards has the loose football. Braylon Edwards, the wide man. Edwards in motion through the formation. Big hole to the 14-yard line. And Perry, especially his mother. A mother's always told him not right? to be a quitter. Lloyd said in his experience, when a parent shows up, the child usually transfers. And here comes the ball, taken off again. He sort of pulls his way to the 11 yard line oh, short. Well, it'll be real close. The quarterback coach, Terry Malone, has sent the play down now. Fourth and short. Tight formation indicating run. And let's see if the Wolverines come up with a little trickery here. There's Gary Danielson's play, and there's a penalty flag. Perry's indicating that it's against the Irish, didn't he? Yeah, That's they exactly must have lined up offside. So let's, uh, and Jack is lined up as the tailback. Will follow that fullback to the three-yard line as Kevin Dudley continues to blow holes open. Underwood, and now with John Navarre on. up under center here on second and goal. Perry, the featured back, looking for number four. Dives and very close to the end zone on that one. Nothing wrong with going for the touchdown here. You've got Perry, who's already scored three times. Dudley to lead him, and Perry going to just walk in. Well, it wasn't a walk-in, but he got there. Watson was in pursuit of him and couldn't bring him down. And that is the fourth touchdown of the day. For number 23, Chris Perry, who came in averaging when the oddsmakers said the Wolverines should be a double-digit favorite, they knew exactly what they were talking about this time. This is a dominating Michigan team. They drive 80 yards and 19 plays. Time out. <laughs> uh, I tell you, two, certainly two great, great fight songs and bands here today. As uh, Quinn back and uh, misfires, and now it'll be fourth down and ten for uh, young Quinn and the Irish. Very impressive Michigan team now facing fourth down for the Fighting Irish. They need to get inside that 40 to keep it going. Quinn forced out of the pocket, in trouble, fires on the move, and incomplete. Ball was bouncing on that far sideline, and so it has been turned over to John Navarre and Michigan, and we saw that. I would let Matt throw Gutierrez throw on this one. A little experience would help. And he'll do just that, and he has got Tyrese Butler. First down inside the 25-yard line. Gutierrez to Butler, 24 yards. First down, Wolverines. See, I think you have to do this. This is not running up the score. This is getting your number two quarterback ready. Look at that. Head going to the left, reads the coverage, plants, and throws the ball in the skinny post back to the opposite side. That's good coaching. That's good talent. That's good play call. You know, Gutierrez is a big-time recruit. Yes, he is. So there's a bell in the bell tower. Could be a, a, a phone tower, couldn't it? <laughs> Here comes Underwood. Whoa. Stretch daylight. Well, let's get an update on the uh, singular. Later. Fourth down for the Wolverines. Rember bursts across the 10 yard line. It'll be first and goal. And uh, they're going to have to show up and play the games. Well, Ohio State found that out last year, didn't they? They, sure they did. tiptoed into the championship. Rember, touchdown, Michigan. And now it's getting to the point of being embarrassing as far as the Fighting Irish are concerned. That's a seven-yard touchdown by Rimber. Same play they've been running all game. Follow the isolation, follow the fullback, run through a couple of busted tackles. This time Rimber puts it in there. He didn't have a shoe on when he finished, but he still put it in there. Ran out of his right shoe. Yep. 38 to nothing. Under center here again. Deep middle, intercepted. Yeah, he's, just not, he's just not ready to play yet. <laughs> and it's 38 to nothing. And uh, man, you take a look at the offense for Michigan, 439 yards today and only 140 for Notre Dame. Uh, the Irish 